are gonna get the whole corner? No freaking way. Oh, look at that, it actually turned off. There is no navigate on autopilot here to take me off the, the motorway. Wow, that's um, shit. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Before we get into today's video, I just want to apologize for obviously the lack of uploads. Three things have happened. One, I've had a medical condition that's taken me off work for the last couple of months. Number two, my camera actually broke uh, and the stabilization wasn't working properly. So I got a new camera. So this is a brand new camera. Let me know if it's any better. Uh, and number three, my car had to go in for some repairs and it still needs some repairs. So there's been a load of reasons I haven't been able to upload recently, uh, but now I'm back to it. We're on version 10. So a huge update has come out since I last saw you all and this update is incredible seriously it's absolutely incredible so I think this is 36.1 uh, yeah 36.1 as you can see down there um, and it has so much stuff. So version 10 has had a few updates uh, recently that have changed a couple of things. So driving visual visualization has been improved, which is obviously this little screen here. Uh, it also includes things like traffic cones, uh, other types of cars now. So it includes things like pickups and it includes the, the whether it's spacing on the road. So you see like the lines are spaced here. It will show that on there. And obviously I'll get to it in a minute. This is brand new to me. I haven't driven yet with stopping mode on. Uh, and it's basically a new form of like one touch driving so it's just one pedal uh, and we're going to have a look at that as well scheduled departures so you can schedule your car to get ready uh, and basically you know just be ready for your trip if you get into regular trips i don't so i'm probably not going to use that power increase which is awesome five percent more power i mean what other car company has done that's a 10 out of 10 update five percent more power that's that's insane uh, and automatic navigation so the navigation starts a route to a likely destination when you get in your car I haven't tried it enough yet to see if it works, so we'll figure that one out. And then other things that have come along is Cuphead. I'm not going to show you all of these because loads of people have. Uh, Netflix, YouTube is also here. Karaoke or Karaoke is also new. Uh, and then the lane changing visualization has changed. And then there's the feeling lucky or hungry, so you can have a random destination put for you. But we're not going to do any of that today. Uh, what we're actually what we're actually going to do? I don't know what all those beeps were about. I've never heard that many. Oh, look at that! Did you see? Look at that, you see that traffic cone? Oh, it actually thinks that these bollards here, so you see the bollards? It actually thinks that the bollards are traffic cones. So you can see we've got an SUV coming in, there's a van, and yeah, it kind of got confused about what was going on there. But it's interesting to see that it thinks these are actually um, traffic cones. Okay, so I'm gonna go in a minute, and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do this trip together uh, around, we're gonna go all the way down here, all the way to Ledbury, on the M50, down the M50, and back. And that's basically gonna be uh, this episode. So, let's get going. There's no one coming, and we'll start shooting off. So I wanna go to like, uh, I wanna go down the M50 to about here. So I'm just gonna ready the sat-nav up to get us down to there. And we'll shoot off. It's actually taking me a completely different route to the route that I was planning on going. So I'll follow I'll follow my own route for a minute. All right, let's go. So power increase, holy shit. I forget how powerful that thing is. That's so good. So yeah, you can see here with the visualization aids, uh, it tells you when there's gaps in the road or not, and it kind of flicks about, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna put autopilot on and I'm gonna bring it down to 50 here. And we're gonna see how well it works on these kind of roads at 50. So this should be a really good test because these are all kind of roads that you're gonna be driving on. These are some quite nice A roads and these are 50 or 60 miles an hour. We're then gonna be doing a bit of motorway and we're gonna go through Ledbury, which is kind of a little town. So we're gonna have hopefully uh, some kind of town driving as well. And this should cover all bases. Now what you can see from the driver visualization screen is it is quite delayed and cars have already gone past me when they seem to appear here. But what you can do is actually zoom out now and spin it around. So trust me, this looks really cool on the motorway and hopefully we'll get into some traffic. I've never said that before. But for example, this car here, watch it, ready? Where is it, where is it? The, didn't even appear, this car, there it is. And now it's gone past us. Okay, this corner, it might, oh, it does slow us down actually, that's good. Yeah, and again, because of our EU warning, you can see there that we had to slow right down and it kind of cut us back in. But what I have actually noticed in version 10 is that at some places it does break very, very well, which allows the car to go around the corner. Whereas in other places like that, again, it still doesn't quite work. Again, just look at when the cars come by here and see them come past in real life. 
it is a little bit delayed and I'm not sure I'm not sure why and it's not the best thing to give you comfort of autonomy when the cars are slightly delayed and sometimes it does ignore them completely now what I have noticed as well is that of like 50 miles an hour it's not showing us that there's gaps in the lines I think that only happens at slower speeds so what I'm gonna really quickly do is just bring it down to 40 miles an hour and see if at 40 there we go so now we've got the double lines have appeared at 40 miles an hour so that's pretty cool so yeah it's definitely at the slower speeds uh, the lines appear I guess at faster speeds you might not need to know what the lines are let's see if this is going to change from doubles it does change from uh, double lines to a single line in a second but it looks good and it also gives you more comfort that the car is in fact seeing double lines Okay, now we're going to uh, space lines in a second. Let's see if the space lines appear on here. No, they don't actually. They don't appear on here even at 40. So we're coming into a 30, so we're gonna be slowing down to 30 in a second. And we'll see if the car at 30 is going to show us those lines. So let's bring this uh, down nice and early. Again, it shows us the double yellow lines, but we know it showed us that at higher speeds anyway. Let's see how, it, how early it sees this car. Yeah, that looked pretty good. And then here I can zoom out and I can actually see the curvature of the road that it's following. Look at that, you see how it like curves around? It's really, really quite cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I do like the new driver visualization. And things like pickup trucks. Oh, is this gonna be a problem, do you think? No, it doesn't seem to be. No, it wasn't fussed by that car. Wow, look at this, it's absolutely bossing this. This is still a 30 down here. And now we're coming out into a 60. And then we just tap here to get up to 60. It's actually taking us up to 65. Obviously we don't wanna to go to 65. Actually, I wanna keep it down to 40 anyway. No, 50, sorry, that'll do. Now I have found between 40 and 50 is the sweet spot it seems. Um, and on these roads, I think it needs to go down for these corners to 45, but I think it's gonna actually slow us down for these corners. Just watch this. I'm pretty sure it can do all of these corners, or at least it has done before. So we get a little warning there, and now it's starting to slow us down. It's slowing us down quite a lot for that corner. There you go, you can see it's brought us down to 35, 36 there. And we have got the car behind us, which I hope you can see, so you can see that we're not like going too slow or anything. This is normal-ish speed, I guess, through here. But I would like it if the car was just a little bit more confident at these corners still, because at the moment it's a little bit wallowy, it's a little bit left, a little bit right. Again here, it does need to slow down. Is it gonna slow? If it doesn't slow down, I'll just slow it down myself. Uh, it's not slowing down, but it thinks it can take... Okay, there we go. So you can see it started to slow down a little bit. No, it wouldn't have taken that corner. It wouldn't have taken that corner at all. It was going way too close to it, and I had to pull off. Let's put it back on there. You can see there, it actually said blind spot detection limited, but I'm not sure why. I went around and cleaned every camera and all the sensors before coming out. So I think there it was just being, again, a little bit more sensitive. But this is working really nicely. One weird thing about uh, the update that I have found is with the karaoke. Now, that's obviously something that I didn't think you'd be able to put on while driving. But the weird thing is you can actually put karaoke on while driving and sing along. Uh, you click here on karaoke. And then when you click a song, it basically says it's for passengers, but you can just override it if you want to. Really dangerous. Don't do it. Trust me, karaoke isn't that important to risk your life. Uh, but it's fun to have passengers singing along and stuff. So if, if you're not easily distracted, it's fine. But if you keep on like looking at the screen, it can be pretty bad. Oh, in fact, actually, it's playing music now. Turn that right down. Let's see how it behaves then with this Audi. It's slowing down for it, and now it's accelerating back up again. So that wasn't too bad. Again, I probably wouldn't have slowed down myself there because I knew the Audi would have turned out. But it still did pretty well. Does it pick up the cyclist? No, it didn't pick up the cyclist. 
didn't pick up the lorry until right at the end, weirdly enough. Now this is trying to take us right here, but I'm not actually gonna go right. We are gonna continue going straight on. But we've got ourselves a red light, so I'm gonna start pulling the car down myself, and then hopefully it should sit behind this Vauxhall. Um, yeah, which it is doing, which is good. So that's right, and then we're continuing straight on here, whereas that Vauxhall's going right. Oh, the car actually was following the Vauxhall and not following the road, which is really strange there. So if I hadn't have um, given it that little tug, it was actually going to the right, which is very, very strange. Okay, I got a pretty tight corner here, but then it goes into a 60. Bring it up to 40 miles an hour. I'm not sure why it's trying to turn us off left here. I think maybe the sat nav, actually I'm just gonna turn that sat nav off for a minute because it, it seems a little bit confused. All right, let's bring it up to 45. We could do these roads, I think, at a little bit better speeds. So this is a 60 on here. But at 60, it seems to be a little bit, a little bit too quick for these kind of roads. 50 is a nice speed for it because then if it does need to slow down, sometimes, sometimes it does like here, it should be slowing us down a little bit for this corner. No, it's not, it's still going at 50, but it didn't need to slow down to be fair. Again, it's the delay, watch this, the car's gone past me now, now. It's just that like almost half a second, maybe a second delay, which is a little bit weird on the driver visualization. Again here, so I'm gonna zoom out, and we should see these cars. One, two, three, and a van. Yeah, look, it, it tracked them all then. So that was uh, that was successful. And on roads like this at the moment, it's actually, it's just driving really nicely. I have used autopilot a lot since version 10's come out. Um, honestly, I haven't actually done this road that much. That was a little bit of a hard left turn there for me, but I think it has, because it dipped down, the car over-exaggerated it a bit. But still, did it successfully. And as these videos go on, as the car gets better, there almost will be less, uh, less for me to say because the idea is the car should just do it perfectly. And as you can see from this drive, it's really, really close. Like we are really edging towards uh, autonomy on 90 to 95% of roads. And then for the towns and you know the little kind of weird roads, it still does need a little bit of assistance. But who can argue that this isn't the future? This is absolutely incredible. Now I have also got obviously my Model X, which is hardware 2.0, and that doesn't show like traffic cones in it. It doesn't seem to, uh, or at least I haven't seen it yet. And it's not quite as good as this, but I haven't had any update on whether they're gonna be able to put in a new computer soon. So I'm not 100% sure if it's worth me keeping my Model X. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Is it worth keeping it just to see if they upgrade hardware too? Or maybe I am thinking, if I'm being totally honest, I'm thinking of getting another branded car that has good autonomy. So yeah, it's not quite out yet, but that's my plan anyway. So here for this corner, I would really like it to slow down uh, and it hasn't done, oh wow, okay, yeah. That might not have felt it in the camera, but that was going around those corners way too quick. But you can see here again, it's saying that there's um, some sort of issue with its visuals, but I've cleaned all the cameras. So I'm not sure how that's uh, becoming an issue. Okay, so I'm gonna slow this down myself all the way down to 30 odd because we are coming into town now. And again, with the, with the correct speed, it actually does it pretty well. So we're gonna go straight through Ledbury. We could go around the ring road, but what I'm gonna do is go straight through it uh, just because I wanna see how it behaves on obviously all these roads. Why is this here? What is, see, I wish it told us what camera was struggling because all of the cameras are clean. And that's a little bit, that's a little bit worrying if I'm being totally honest. Okay, let's just change our settings really quickly so that it stops, uh, 
speeding us up. And now the camera issue seems to go away. I actually think it's when the direct sunlight's on it, it seems to be glaring. So maybe there is a, a little glare or a smudge on one of them. So Ledbury is a very old, old town and it has got a weird kind of road system. So I'm really intrigued to see how the car behaves on this road. All right, this guy's going left. I'm going right. Oh, there's an ambulance. What does this think? Anything? No, didn't think of anything of the ambulance, which is strange. That was actually trying to follow the car going left, weirdly enough, that the car actually started to pull left and follow it around the corner. So that's not great. That actually shows uh, that the car, man, that is really bright. That sun is incredibly bright. That actually shows that it does follow other cars because the wheel started to turn left, even though left was a, a junction and we were meant to be following the corner around to the right. It's not gonna auto uh, pilot down any of this because obviously of cars on the street and stuff. But what this does give me a test is actually using that new um, foot feature or like the one foot driving. So I think the idea of it is, like if you come up to something, you don't have to brake at all anymore. I'm just waiting to see if autopilot wants to kick in on this road. It should do, because there is it, there we go. Okay, we're back on, we're back on. Through the town. Let's see how well it does. Now again, these are kind of weird roads because they're tighter on one side than the other, and those cars do come over to our side of the road, which isn't obviously good. Um, but the car has to has to learn to give way give way to that. Otherwise, these kind of towns and these kind of areas are never going to work. Like that car there, for example. You see what I mean? The car needs to tuck over a little bit more to the left. However, it did that very nicely. And as you can see, we're happily cruising through town autonomously. So what do we have this set as? We've got it set as three gaps. So I'm just going to set it as one. <clears throat> Is it going to go around this DPD van? No, we kind of stopped behind it. And is it going to go around it or is it not? No, it's not going to. I have to go around that myself because he was completely blocking the lane we were trying to be in. All right, autopilot's back on. God, it is so bright and I can't see uh, the floor either. The floor is so shiny that like even the lines are hard to read. But it's doing it well. You can see that there's cones there on the screen. That's really, really cool. What's it gonna do here? Please don't follow the van. Okay, it hasn't followed the van. It is continuing straight, but it's gonna sit behind these cars here again and just uh, kind of pause because these are half on the road. So that's kind of annoying that it's still doing that. And again, that is still the issue in towns and cities. It's just gonna be things like this, this lorry parked on the road. You know, it's gonna be really hard for a car to figure that out and get all around it. Okay, when's autopilot coming back on? There we go. Let's put autopilot back on. Just going to bring it down to 25 as we come up here. Is it going to pick up the lady? Nope, didn't pick up the lady. Or at least it wasn't too bothered by her. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come down to kind of Linton area. And we're going to go down there on the M50. But overall, so far, what are you thinking, everybody? I'm thinking version 10 is looking really, really good. And it's starting to put a lot of haters kind of away. I've, no I've noticed a lot less shit talking about Teslas, about the autonomy side, because it's really starting to get good. And the thing is, you can actually use it in the real world today, which is crazy. Um, right, so it still obviously doesn't do roundabouts. So we'll have to do the roundabout ourselves. See, again, it still says that there's a, an issue with one of the cameras. But I'm not sure what the issue is. Again, as well, it needs to read the signs to slow us down a little bit because it's, it's not reading the signs still. I'm actually going to bring this down to 45. Whoa, my God. It was almost cutting that corner too tight. 
<laughs> and I think it was gonna just like, it probably wasn't, but it looked like it was gonna touch that curb, uh, which is very, very worrying. Bring it down now again. We're just having to follow the speed limits down. And it's something that I really wish the car could do. Down to 35 for this little corner here. Speed it back up again. This really is impressive though. I'm just gonna clean my windscreen to see if it's the front cameras at all. Because I actually didn't clean those, but they, they looked pretty clean anyway, so it should be all right. All right, we're coming over here, completely blind. The car did slow down for it, interestingly enough, but it did it successfully, which is good. Let's bring the speed up a little bit. Now, this is going to be a longer video because obviously this is my first video back. I wanted to really put it under some scrutiny here and show you how good the autopilot is and how much in a month it's changed because it <laughs> it wasn't bad but it wasn't as good as this like this now it seems really quite quite rock steady which is great we're gonna bring it up to the speed limit here of 60 as well let's just see how it actually does this stretch at the speed limit I did also test it going through some big puddles the other day in my Model X on autopilot, and it did surprisingly well. Uh, I have found though that some puddles, it seems to think that like the road line disappears and it tries to almost go into the puddle. So it's kind of counterintuitive sometimes. Okay, it's braking hard there for, whoa, really braking hard. So I think it actually saw, maybe it saw him braking hard in front, or maybe it was the lorry, uh, but it really did brake quite hard there. Coming into now to quite a tight corner. I'm hoping it's gonna slow itself down for it. And we've got a big lorry, but it's not, it's not slowing itself. There we go, now it's slowing itself down a little bit. But then it starts to speed back up again. Now it slows, speeding up, still speeding up, still speeding up, slowing down. It needs to, once it starts slowing down, it needs to be a little bit more continuous and a little bit more uh, fluid. Okay, so we're coming on to the M50, which is gonna give us some um, good roads to do some navigate on autopilot on. And hopefully the navigate on autopilot will be really good as well, both coming on and off of the motorway and doing overtakes and, uh, and whatnot, but again, I haven't tested it yet. I haven't actually tested it since this newest update has come out on with traffic codes and all of those things on the motorway. So I'm really quite excited actually to give it a go. But again, you can see here, it seems when there's double lines, it tracks it constantly, but when it's not double lines, it doesn't track it constantly, if that makes sense. There we go, that's quite fast around that corner. But as you can see, this is the speed that all the other cars are doing it at. So I'm just kind of following along at this point. Which I might bring it down to 45 so that we don't keep going quite as fast. But that's also the thing with autonomy. I, I don't have a problem with this driving at 45 miles an hour everywhere. I would actually happily let it drive at 45 miles everywhere if I could just watch YouTube and enjoy my drive. So let's see how we get onto it. This, this looks pretty confusing. There's loads of traffic cones down there as well, which might be good. Um, but let's see how we get onto this motorway and whether the car can do it all itself. There's a traffic cone there on the right. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. Yeah, it did. Wow, that is super sensitive. I can't believe that. It actually picked it up. I was kind of thinking, no, that's not gonna pick it up, but that actually, there's one there. It picked it up and it picks it up super early. Here's loads of traffic cones here coming on the left, everybody. Let's see what it thinks. Don't go left, don't follow that car. We're going straight around here. Phew, look at all the cones. <laughs> that's incredible. That is incredible. Okay, so I'm actually uh, coming off here. So I'm going down this road. 
And now this is on to the motorway. So I'm a little bit nervous about it trying to do it. So I'll do it myself because it felt like it was just going to swing straight out to that car. Jesus. Whew. Okay, I don't know if you guys could see that completely. Um, but on my mirror, that car was in my lane when it was trying to do that. So that was really quite hairy. And I'm quite glad I looked and took over. Yeah, look at all of these. I might have to come back and do all these cones. But you can see it's actually picking up the cones. Look at that. That is good. That is picking up the cones on the other side of the road and registering them right there that is quite impressive so we're going to go down this road for however long it wants us to uh, and then we're going to come off and go and go back up i think we might just come off actually at the next exit so i'm going to turn that off and i'm going to set it as uh, let's go home let's see what that tries to tell us to do here so i think we should go in the left lane yeah good job I like this animation. It looks good. There's a cone as well. Man, this is picking up all the cones. There's a cone over there. Is it going to pick it up? No, it didn't pick up that one. But here, this is what I mean. If I zoom out and look around, it looks really, really cool on this. There you go. There's another cone and another cone. <laughs> oh, I love it. But look how peaceful and relaxing this is on the motorway. This is, this is seriously, seriously good uh, on the motorway now. And just for cruising, it just makes it such a peaceful and enjoyable drive. Granted, obviously there's not much traffic or anything on this road. Can you guys see out the rear view mirror? There you go, sorry, forgot about that. But the problem we still have here in the UK is that the car doesn't uh, change lanes completely by itself. You do have to activate it and tell it when it can and can't change lanes. So it'd be nice for those kind of things to be improved and allowed here in the UK. And apparently they are gonna ease up on some of those rulings, apparently. I'm not 100% sure and I don't currently believe it, but I really hope they do because we still don't have things like advanced summon um, and all these, other, all of these other cool party tricks that uh, Americans have just yet. So our next junction is in four and a half miles. I'm just going to talk if anything happens in those four and a half miles, but otherwise this should be a pretty easy drive. So it's wanting us to make a lane change here. I I don't actually think I would personally do that lane change. I don't have the need to like speed up past these people. Uh, so I'm just going to cancel it and I'm going to see when that bugs me again to make that lane change. Because previously it would bug me instantly like, hey dude, do the lane change, do the lane change. So I'm just going to see what it thinks. I'd probably do the lane change now. It's not asking for it, so I'm going to do it myself. Not sure why it instantly slows me down when I try the lane change, but it does do that for some reason. I'm gonna wait to see if it asks us to get back in that left lane. It's not asking us to get back in the left lane, but I'm gonna do it myself because I wouldn't stay out in this lane. Look how flawless that is though. That is really, really something, something special. Interesting, every now and then though, this does go to a solid central line. And I wonder if the car would um, like struggle with that in overtaking if it was a standard line. So I'm gonna go for the overtake here. I'm gonna bump it to 72. actually going to set because I think the car is set at, yeah the car was set at one closeness so now I'm going to go for two but you can see here we're only 1.8 odd miles away from the junction so is it going to bug us to get in I'm not sure this car can come over if he wants to look at that and Tesla did that so well it wasn't fussed by it it wasn't bothered by it at all it let it come in 
it would be cool if it showed that it knew the car in front was indicating um but it, it doesn't seem to show that yet which is a little bit of a shame but it would be quite cool it's not wanting to change lanes now it's changing lanes it did a little swerve back and then in there so that's a little bit interesting and we're going to be coming off here in one mile so let's see uh let's see how this goes shall we yeah this is the junction that we want to take now you know that i've been really hit and miss with navigate on autopilot in terms of coming on and off of motorways i really really hope that this proves version 10 and it really shows how much they've improved this bit i haven't tested it so i don't know if it's going to be any different uh, but i'm just really hoping is it going to think these are cones it might do nope it didn't okay Here we go. This is going to be the change coming up. We've got cones there on the left that should pick up those. So I've got a van behind me, look, and you can see hopefully, can you see the van? There it is. So you can see the van coming behind. All right, here we go. This is an insanely quick. Oh, look at that. It actually turned off. There is no navigate on autopilot here to take me off the, the motorway. Wow, that's... Um, shit that was really really shit i didn't expect that at all well okay fair enough this is a horrible junction is this even the right way i, I have no idea but i i wasn't expecting that and it, mm, i'm not happy that that turned off navigate on autopilot while i was still on the motorway that's not good that that wasn't good oh well okay right let's try some more rural roads then shall we and see if these uh rural roads cause any issues for us i'm gonna keep it at a slower speed oh my god what is this i'm <laughs> i gotta bring this down to like 12 18 i'm at is it gonna do it whoa no not quite my god okay these are these are a bit crazier roads than i was expecting but you can see it picking up all the traffic cones really well so, you know, that's good. Now, this is probably the most extreme roads that I would comfortably use autopilot on. I know that it's going to be pretty good on these roads, uh, but it's not going to be great. And I mean, the roads are horrible, so apologies for all the noise and shaking. But let's just see how the car deals with it. And again, there's nothing really wrong with going 40 on these roads if the car does it all itself. I'm quite happy to do that. I think without the left line again, it does just slightly sway over. You can hear it hit those light stones and like slight almost sandy area on the edge. Oh my god, this is really <laughs> this is really windy. Wow. Okay, this is going well. So it didn't pick up the other car there, which again is just interesting. Alright, we've got a we've got a traffic cone. Is it gonna pick up that tiny traffic cone? Yes it did. Okay, really tight turn here. But it did it nicely. It slowed us down a little bit, but not much. There's traffic cones everywhere. And it's avoiding them. I don't know if it actively then avoids them anymore, but that would be an interesting see see thing to see. I could like plan something out and put a load of cones and see what the car does. It's quite a bouncy road down here. I'm definitely not going to be going over 40. 40 is absolutely fine. But like I said, these are B roads, so, you know, these are the back roads. That's how I always think of B road. Not quite the main road, but the back road. This is a tight turn as well, in a dip. Whoa, my gosh. I think it was going to be all right there, but again, it, it almost seems to nosedive at the last second uh, into some of those corners, and it just seems a little bit, a little bit too dangerous. This is quite a tight road here. 
We've got a human in the road. We've got two humans in the road. I wonder what it's going to think of this. It might stop for him, you know. It might stop. It hasn't stopped. And it didn't even show them on there, but it did show the, the traffic cones. Now, I know this is insane, so I'm going to pull this down to like 18 speed. And you can see that the car here is oh, it's doing it. No, it wouldn't have done that whole corner around, I don't think. It saw the traffic cone super early, though. Jesus, this is a uh, this is tight. How's it going to do it? Wow. <laughs> this is going really well, though. Oh, it just felt like it was... Again, it just doesn't feel sometimes like it's going to take the corner tight enough. Oh, no. There we go. That was going to completely curve the side. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, this, is, this is to an extreme where I wouldn't expect it to work and I wouldn't use it normally. But, you know, it didn't do too bad, I guess. It just would have curved itself a few times, I think, if I'd left it. All right, back up the hill. Let's go. All right, we're going to bring this 35 up here. And then we're going to go back to 40. What I do forget as well, of course, is the cameras are actually quite high. They're all the way up here. So they can see over a lot more than we can see. So sometimes I doubt them and then I, I remember, I'm like, oh yeah, they're actually up there and there are three of them. So they can see a lot of stuff, right? Tight corner, is it gonna slow us down for it at all? It's not slowing us down, but it doesn't feel that it needs to. I tucked it in there because it, it doesn't feel on these roads like it's gonna tuck itself in tight enough. That is the big problem. So for this corner, I'm gonna bring it down to 35 just see if it does tuck itself yeah look at this we've got some tight corners coming Ooh. bring that back up to 40 then okay we're coming to a junction i'm i'm gonna slam on there's no one around me but i just want to see if it will stop nope that is definitely not gonna stop um uh, go whoa <laughs> that five percent makes all the difference okay we're going pretty fast now it's going see it's gone over the line there which is annoying not as much over the line as i was expecting it to do to be totally honest and it actually did the rest of it not too bad so that was all right Now this is a 60 this road. But I wouldn't I wouldn't do 60 myself anyway and I definitely wouldn't do 60 on autopilot. Going to bring it down to 40 for this corner. Which is done well. That looks like a lovely entrance to a house. This is actually a really nice area. And we're back into 40 which is like our cruising speed. Oh, pheasants. Does it pick up the pheasants? No, it didn't pick up pheasants. See, that's also I'm intrigued about. I might just go find some cows and park in front of them and see what the car says. Maybe I'll try that for like a load of different things and see if it, uh, see what the visualization really does pick up. I wonder if they've thrown in any kind of Easter eggs that if you, if you look at something in the car, it will see it. It broke, it breaks there for something, but I'm not sure what. This looks like quite a tight corner and it dips. The car's slowing down though, that's nice. That's good, that's really good. Wow, that did that corner like I want it to do every corner. It slowed down and it took it. Really, really impressed with that one. Again here, this quite a hard corner because it dips down it did break pretty hard what's that it's showing up oh no that's just a minus i thought that was something up ahead but it was just the minus button no alarm everybody no alarm so we're coming into a 50 now but i'm already doing 40 so that's fine Ok, 
Okay, this looks like a real test for it. Yeah, that's a tough corner. I'm going to leave it at 40, though, because, you know, it should see that nice and early. Yeah, it has done. So it's broke very hard there. And then, yeah, it did it, it, did it fine, which is good. All right, let's bring it up to 45 then. Actually, let's go to the speed limit. We're going to go 50. Okay, he's quite far over. See, I don't know if the car does anything when it sees cars over slightly or anything like that. Something quite interesting, I guess, to, uh, to check on. Even at 50, this is doing this road really well. Actually, I'm not doubting it at all down this road. It's doing it nicely. I do doubt it here, though. But I'm going to leave it at 50 and see if it's going to slow itself down at all. It's completely bossing it. Look at that. It slowed itself down nicely then. It really needs to slow down for this corner. And it is. And it is. It is, everyone. It's slowed itself down. It's completed the corner. It's still staying slow. This is incredible. This is incredible. This is exactly what we want it to do. There's a bird on the road. Is it going to see the bird? No. Oh, sorry. Oh, dead carcass. It's sticking at 32 here because I assume other Teslas have gone through at this speed. I don't know, though. Is it going to get the whole corner? No freaking way. Well done. Well done, Oreo. It's called Oreo, by the way. Give Oreo some love. That was incredible. I'm actually going to keep it at 50 because it seems to be better at 50 than it was slower than at a slower speed, actually. Right, this is, this is a real test. Again, look at that. It's slowing us down so nicely. I sometimes think someone from Tesla is watching me through this camera and he's like, he's recording. Shit, slow it down as you get up to this corner. But look at this. This is exactly what we want it to do. Come on, complete this corner without cocking up that's it that's it so don't go over the line don't go over the line it hasn't it hasn't very very good very very good we're definitely on to a winner here with autopilot and full self-drive we're definitely on to a winner again some pretty intense oh pothole pretty intense uh, corners section coming up here I would love to see an antler, antler, a deer running across the road here, just to see what the car thinks of it. Again, it's braking very hard, but correctly, it's done the corner. This is this is amazing. This is great. I feel like I'm over plead, pleading with it, but when you've driven it so long. Okay, this is too fast. This is too fast. Surely, no, it's <laughs> it's not. It's doing it. Even for me, I was like, that doesn't feel quite the right speed. Slowing down again. Very good. Very good. I feel like I'm almost teaching it and like I'm having to be like, yeah, good job as it goes on. You can see that as a car came, it did break. It actually slammed on. Um, for it slowing down again I'm not touching a thing I'm not touching the pedals I'm not doing it I'm not telling it any different from last time I did a video it's just had an update and it's working hi Jackie that was Jackie her number plate said Jackie Tesla Elon and all of the people at the autopilot team you're breaking grounds here this is incredible I'm not gonna lie, when I first got my Model X, I almost laughed at the fact they said this was gonna be able to drive itself, but I'm not laughing anymore. I am actually, I am laughing, but in a good way. Because I'm not having to drive. Again, this is all at 50. Right, it's really starting to speed us up for this corner. Okay, it's really, really going too fast. No way. No way. Oof. This is a 60. This is ridiculous. Okay, so that there, I think it would have 
probably just gone straight over and down the left road, if anything. But the fact that this is still a 60 kind of baffles me. Uh, we're going into a 30 in a second, so let's bring that all the way down. But that was really that was really good. Again, it shows that you can't be 100% confident in it. It still has moments like that, uh, but really impressive overall, uh, you've got to say. Here, we're going to have obviously a problem with people and a bin lorry, and it's just stopping. I'll go around. But interestingly enough, it didn't pick up the lorry first. It actually picked up the, the humans first. Let's see what the car decides to do here. So there's cars coming. The cars broke for them. Oh, and that goal flashed us. Now, I think that's all just worked in um, really convenient ways, but that, that worked well. It kind of let someone go, and then we were able to go afterwards. All right, speed this back up to 30. Oh. They're trying to break into their own van. It's doing this really well. Again, though, we've got the, the same problem as always. Let's see if it how hard it breaks. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Uh, so the answer to that is, was I, I honestly don't know if that was going to break. Was that going to break? Like It didn't feel like it was going to break. I, phew, okay. Well, that was a little bit, uh, considering how good the rest have been, that was a little bit of a disappointment that I had to veer it off like that. But again, that's just something that we're constantly shouting about that needs to be fixed. Again, we'll stick at 40 for this bit. The car in front's going about 40 as well, so it's a good speed for this road. Actually, I'll set it to 45. Just because I like it when I actually am controlled by the car in front, because that gives a real natural feeling of what the speed is on these roads. I think I'm set to, to I'll set myself to uh, two cars away. Oh, sorry, two seconds. It's done by time. And it changes depending on what speed you're going. God, that was close. You could hear it there going. It actually touched uh, the kind of sandy, stony bit. And whenever it, whenever I hear that, I pull it off because that's curbing territory. You never know when you're going to have one of those like high bus... You, oh, that actually thought those were traffic cones back then. Or maybe there was a couple of traffic cones, actually. Like here, I know that this corner, it's going to try and cut it. And you see that there's a curb there. Oh, it didn't, actually. It slowed itself down and went round it really well. Whereas the car in front naturally went over the line to go around the corner. Obviously, this car's not going to do that. Again, we've got some pretty tight corners here. This is a 60. Just so you know, we're going 30. I could... Ooh, no, don't like that don't like it I had to take control sometimes it just doesn't feel right um, you can go double this speed down this road if you want ridiculous but this is working nicely it's not picking up the double yellow lines or anything though oh there it is okay now it is <clears throat> we've got a traffic cone again on the left is it gonna pick that up bit of a faded one. Oh, it did it still did pick it up it's really quite good at picking up the traffic cones a nice distinctive shape and color i guess but here again on these kind of roads it's it's really it's it's good at slower speeds you know it's still doing this nicely and i think if we didn't have those regulations and stuff here the tighter corners obviously wouldn't be as much of a problem but that is the only issue there's such a big problem at the moment is because of our uh, silly regulations that have kind of banned turning too tight around a corner in, a corner in your car. Uh, for example, this corner here, I know that it won't be able to do this one, but I'm going to let it attempt something anyway. See there, it was going too far right, which would have just like touched, I think, that, um, that car there. So again, I'm going to completely come off the accelerator here, and the car now should stop. It does, it stopped. Now, does it hold? It does, and it holds. Apologies about that. Apparently my uh, new GoPro Hero 8 
is uh, overheated and yeah over that recording it's now overheated and completely died on me so I've had to mount up my phone really quickly um, yeah I mean this is actually pretty much the end of the trip so that's not really a problem what do you think about version 10 let me know down below in the comment section I think it's incredible and it's such a big difference uh, I'm really pissed off that that camera died right at the end but you can sell you can definitely tell the difference in stabiliz stabilization and everything let me know if otherwise the camera was really good uh, and you liked it over the last one which obviously the image stabilization broke until next time thank you all so much for watching and don't forget drive safe